Hey guys, Dean Doodle here, and welcome to my first YouTube animatic. Yay! So today, I wanted to get into a topic that is pretty near and dear to my heart, and that is why I DM for D&D. And I have to answer this for myself because in those moments where I'm spending days at a time preparing a D&D session for my group, the only thing keeping my sanity together is some semblance of a sense of purpose. So, here are my top three reasons why I DM for Dungeons and & Dragons, and who knows, maybe you'll find some inspiration to DM for your own group. Here we go. Number one, improved management skills. Wow, boring. Wait, wait, don't leave. A lot of unexpected lessons are to be had when DMing for a group. Sure, it's great to talk about the wizards and dragons, but there's much more to D&D than that. When you're the DM, not only should you move your stories along, but also the coordination of your group. And I get it. Although it doesn't sound exciting, I've learned that a lot of fulfilling points in my life originated from the boring stuff. Times where I've taken a task upon myself, only to struggle and prove that, yeah, I, I can accomplish something meaningful to myself. So now I've been able to practice planning so that the party can enjoy our adventures on the schedule that fits with their lifestyles. And I've become a leader for my group, a person that my whole group can love and respect, and that is worth it. Reason number two, impromptu skills. Yes, now we're getting to the juice. Okay, so I'm a guy that sucks at talking on the fly, but with that being said, it's not something I want to run away from. We have a wonderful opportunity to practice this difficult life skill in a no-stakes environment, surrounded by your friends who you can trust, people who would be accepting of your mistakes and blunders, and after the fact, you can just laugh off all the silly things you ended up saying. This is a huge perk to be sure. Number three, world building and creativity. This one's gonna be huge! I'm always so impressed with the other dungeon masters in my Discord community when they share the worlds and ideas that they made. Months and years of work to create an immersive experience that will never depreciate in value. For all of the work I put into my campaign's world, I know that it will create content and stories that will last me a lifetime. Think of the satisfaction when a player asks you a random, obscure question about the area or the backstory of a particular NPC, and then you are immediately able to answer them to create an experience that feels real. I guarantee that if you put in the work, you can have the same satisfaction as well. And that's all for my video. Whoa, value! Number four, building relationships. This one is one of my personal favorite reasons, so I had to mention it. Building a connection with friends, old and new. One of the reasons why playing D&D is so great is because of how intimate the experience is. It's not a game that's world is stuck in its initial design, nor does it have fixed dialogue that you have to adhere to. You can go wherever you want. You can say whatever you want. And on top of that, you can make these choices with other people, which adds a whole bunch of great complexity. The real-time pressures of ad-libbing conversations and weaving a story together inevitably creates a deep connection between all involved. It's something I've cherished quite a bit in my life, and I hope that everyone watching this can get to experience this as well. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. This was my first try at something like this, so I really appreciate everyone's time. If you would like to see more content of this type, oh my god, I'm about to say this. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. <laughs> I also have a small Discord community with a bunch of great doodles and dudettes there. That's where I post notifications for my Twitch streams, so definitely join me there. All info will be in the description box below. And also, thank you to these guys for supporting me, helping me with YouTube, Twitch, content, and other sorts of art advice in general. And so, thanks again and hope to see you doodlers next time. Later!